1st Battalion, 3rd Marines, along with our Philippine Marine Corps allies, conducted numerous training events during Balakatan 22 to include an amphibious assault, both air and surface. A combined command operations center planning process, as well as a combined maritime coastal defense. Most importantly, we conducted area denial uh, operations here in the Northern Luzon Islands as a combined team. U.S. Marines alongside Filipino Marines ran through a counter landing defense. So that incorporated heavy machine guns as well as uh, Stinger missiles, Javelin missiles, and obstacles from our engineer platoon. It's just been beneficial to see uh, you know, what, what each unit does well and what their capabilities are and will allow us to better coordinate and integrate our efforts in the future. The training of a partner nation like the Filipinos has been really beneficial for Marines just to kind of build confidence in our partnership. It helps for them to be able to teach what they know and then I think it's beneficial to kind of demonstrate our capabilities to the Filipinos as well and really show that, uh, that we're a good partner to have in the Pacific. We conducted movement down here and then a ship to shore operation and are now on, on the beach uh, with, you know, with a whole lot of capabilities, anti-air defense, anti-tank missiles, mortars, machine guns. It's all gone seamlessly, so I, I would say that that's probably not a, a force you want to mess with.